This was the last time the world saw Queen Elizabeth. Frail, walking stick in hand, but still hard at work, age 96, and welcoming new Prime Minister Liz Truss at her home in Balmoral. It was here she took her last breath. And now a new book by royal biographer Robert Hardman makes public the family's private moments. The book features a memo written by the Queen's private secretary, Sir Edward Young. It says, very peaceful, in her sleep, slipped away, old age, death has to be registered in Scotland, agree 3.10pm. She wouldn't have been aware of anything, no pain. To know that she died peacefully, in no pain, is satisfying, it's pleasing, because all the while, certainly since the passing of Prince Philip in April 2021, she had been suffering mobility issues, she had been in pain, but right at the end, she wasn't. That's good news. Until the Queen's last moments, duty came first. It's reported even after her death in a red box, she left some notes, her recommendations for the Order of Merlin, and two private letters. She was working right up to the end. As far as those letters are concerned, I would have thought very, very personal, personal to Sir Edward Young, presumably thanking him for his unstinting service, uh, and maybe a little bit of advice to her son, who was about to take over and who obviously did take over, but they would have been very personal letters, and I doubt we'll see the life of day, certainly not in my lifetime. One of the recipients of those letters is now the custodian of this palace. King Charles was picking mushrooms when shortly afterwards he received a phone call from an aide addressing him as Your Majesty. And that's when the penny dropped. And so the new king set to work. It's reported he went to his mother's bedside, said his farewells, and then prepared to break the news to the new heir to the throne. These plans have been in place for a long time. And I think we can see that detailed in this memo here. You know, we know that the plans have been going on for an exceedingly long time. And they played out in the way that the royal household staff and Queen Elizabeth II would have wanted. Poignant personal moments shared for the first time. And now, details of a farewell forever memorialised for years to come. Sabah Chowdhury, Sky News.